Um, football has been coming for a while. Matisse just decides to show up when he wants to, though. So, hopefully, it makes for an interesting game. Matisse nice. probably... Ah, Pokemon he told me he's playing DDD. I was lied to. Opting for the Meta Knight. Jam going to the new Pokemon trainer. They've been playing around with a lot of characters recently. Um, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm really bad at this. And so you can just sit and enjoy this. Thank you. Far, far away into the blast zone, but who's not going away is Ivysaur right now. He's coming in top line down scrapping. Charizard is not really fun to have. It's probably like what you don't want to play in this matchup because it's you are against essentially the same kind of thing of someone with a better disjoint than you, similarly fast frame data, and also he has like 12 million jumps. So you can't really do much as well. But you can definitely do much as well. Definitely. Charizard, uh, Charizard just takes these kind of matchups and can kind of outrange it. You know? Like, see, look, the Snap F tilt, it, it works enough for like your starting combo, but like, with the weight and all that, the combo like, is a bit harder to do. Yeah. It's not like incredibly hard. Uh, I just uh, punish with the up tilt as well. You can't be doing that as Nanai. That's just like, that's like your, you know, your big thing. Yeah. And if someone's air dodging, you should be able to catch if they're air dodging out of your yeah. combos. But we'll see what Lucas can do to bring it back here. I, it's going to be a hard time. I think so. Too. I mean, you know, as I learned very recently, man, I can just, you know, take your stops quick. Yeah. Away. You get, you're done in. You get, um, you get one of those kind of offstage combos. Yeah. And everything you need. But, seeing, uh, Dan's going to do a lot of power beat I'm trying to say both centers, which is nice. Do we see a floater? Flare blades back to leg. <laughs> only you only see one PT getting that frame perfect player with the ledge, I'll tell you what. Ander, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, he was back throwing Ganon at 80%, so I don't think he's that good at PT. Fair enough, honestly. I, I, I only saw one clip from that on YouTube, and that was him back throwing at 80%. I was disappointed. I remember. It was the one that they clipped of you making your comeback against oh, yeah. uh, Ander. Yeah. And the whole sequence starts with uh, Ander. Down there would have been a 50 50 kill. Oh, would have just killed you? Okay. I love Ivy Mate, Sword what? F Smash. What? What dirty name? I did not know he had a sword. I'm telling you. Yeah, it, it, is, it, is that cannon? It's like a mask. Yeah, it, the, the, the big bulb is actually just. You're getting beat to death with a bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is. I, I didn't know Ivy Sword canonically had a hone edge in his skull. Yeah, like, exactly. Sticking out the top. Invisible, you know? Like, hone edge is ghost fight, you know? It, exactly. It's, um, it's invisible. That, it's a cursed Ivy Sword. <laughs> invisible sword coming out of his head. Yeah. And it, uh, and behind him as well. It's, it's, also have, it's the, the, the active hitbox of that move is like. The space saves my forearm in all one spot on the screen. It's just it's all one big one. Ooh! Oh! The bro the king. the bro gamer killer, King DDD, the bro gamer murderer, the bro gamer murderer. I thought that was Min Min. <laughs> no, I've never really watched that one. Good, keep it that way. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Here we go, though. Go. 
the thing you need now. You said Squirtle wasn't going to be very good in the last matchup, but I think he's going to be very yeah. good in this matchup. You usually just stay away, you can just bear away the Gordos, and you just call for it. But what we're going to see here is a lot of approaching. You're running into the. Uh, running into the what? That inhale, man. Like, that was. It's so mad. That was a pure Bowser's inside story for the hitbox right there. Like, that was a, a nice parry as well to get into the deep jab in this specific state, keeping this, like, bold like, like that. Going for, like, the GDD classic. No, the the Razzle Dazzle, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be Lopus getting dazzled here today. Oh, my lord. I don't know. That down air. Uh, very, very solid. You know how long time you see I just go down air uh, spiking GDD up the until unless you get onto like, a good very tip of it? I don't think you really see much dealing with GDD up the whatsoever. True. So. But um, this is what you like to call a uh, matchup difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is definitely a matchup difference. So, just PT is just a much better character than. And if you just refuse to interact with what you do nonsense. I'm so almost like the ball on Dan right now. Actually, I, I would You're not have I would not have neutral get up into that. I would have been like, oh no, oh, like oh, I would have oh, dropped oh. I would have dropped off upbeat. I would have stayed away. <laughs> I would have just I would have been scared. Yeah, would, oh listen, they're listening, they're listening. Alright, uh, mid-set coaching, mid-set coaching. The Ali GGWD coaching coming in the clutch. Forward air again, no! Get, get his mana five. <laughs> Where is my mana five? Oh, Where is my mind? With coaching like that, you know. Just don't die. Don't die. Oh. The as we saw that the empty board of the way. The classic uh, character projectile, I have been hit, time to use my projectile. We've just seen yep. it happen again to help with the landing. It, it's really good, it's really good at doing this. Like, has got a very good landing game. Yeah, he even though he's massive. Because Gordos is there, he's massive. Nair's like minus two or whatever it is. So Nair's so, minus two? No, it, it's not minus two, it's safe as hell. It's like minus five area. I'm so sorry. I might be talking out my arse if yeah. someone would like to correct me. Here we go though. We got jam, two stocks to one right here. Especially as and you know what, I was going to say, especially for heavies, hard to make a comeback, but actually it's the opposite. It's heavies so are some of the best. Heavies are some of the easiest to make comebacks as, or yeah. against. Or against. It's because they, they have such a polarizing game plan that if you're able to kind of take apart that player's game plan, it just becomes yeah. kind of a lot bigger of a, a mountain to climb. Oh, sure. or, or. I think... Okay, so... DDD is probably the best heavy in the complex because he lives forever. He does, and he gets like blood trap kills. The ledge trap uh, potential is terrifying. Yeah. Um, the fact he's got a good, like a big hit going. Mordo. Yeah. Like there's just so much going for it. The consistent rules for 160. Hey, I, I don't know. I. Uh, that, that Charizard be living to 200 sometimes, you know? Oh, no, I, that, that's, that's your Charizard, though. Like, that, there's a difference, all right? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, you that, know that's, that's the player differential. Right? That's the, the, the alley dip. The alley dip. Is the down throw? Uh, uh -oh. Down throw starts to kill at certain point, like, after a while, but... Because we're seeing down throw really central. Bullet seat? Bullet seat? All right. Uh, oh, hey, nice. yo. He got it down. Is, it is like down throw. Hey. It's like frame four star up, to be fair. Bullet seed. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like really. So is it, is it how it should? Oh, no, it's like a spot dodge. It's like a spot dodge cancel weird mix up. If if they're coming in front of you, it's easier to see spot dodge cancel down tilt. Yeah, it's a mashing call. It's out. a mash. I think it's just a mashing option as well. Hey, it's you a know mashing it, option. You know it, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I've been to I've been to guts tournament series enough. I am uh, a Monday masher. You're a Monday, Monday masher. masher. You're aware. I am a 